Synergy Dodge Ram Track Bar Conversion Kit for the 1994 to 2001 Dodge Ram 1500 or the 1994 to 2002 Dodge Ram 2500 and 3500. Begin by removing the axle side track bar bolt. This can be beneficial to have it on the ground so that the track bar is unloaded. Otherwise, raise and support the vehicle. Remove the driver's side tire. Remove the stud on the frame side of the track bar. After removing the nut, this is a taper fit joint. You may need to use a hammer or a tie rod separating tool to properly remove this stud. Inspect the axle side mount. Some of the trucks will need to have the weld on that mount ground off in order to fit the conversion bracket. Remove the bolt that is holding the factory brake line tab on and push the factory brake line up and out of the way. Test fit the new adapter bracket to ensure that it clears all of the welds that were ground previously. Check also to make sure there are no additional brackets that need to be clearanced or ground down. Using the large nut and bolt supplied with the kit, bolt the conversion bracket to the existing factory bracket. Use a punch to mark the location for the two holes needed to be drilled in the cross member. Use a punch to mark the outside of the frame where the bracket lines up. Remove the conversion bracket before drilling the holes. Begin by pilot drilling all the holes punch marked in the previous operations. On the cross member, drill out the pilot holes to 3 8 of an inch. Drill the pilot hole on the outside of the frame rail to half inch. With the holes drilled and the track bar conversion bracket fit, clean up the spots you ground previously. Once you're satisfied with the condition of all your previous grinding work, paint all bare metal surfaces to prevent corrosion. With the paint dry, install the taper adapter, the conversion bracket, the 5 8 bolts and washers, and hand tighten the nut. For the cross member, install the 3 8 bolts from the front side of the cross member, through the cross member and through the conversion bracket. Install the washers and nuts on the conversion bracket side. Be sure to reinstall the brake line bracket at this time as well. On the frame side, install the nut tab through the large hole above the half inch bolt. Then, install the half inch bolt through the conversion bracket into the nut tab. With all four bolts installed, go ahead and snug them up at this time. Next, torque all the bolts down. Torque the 5 8 bolt to 200 foot-pounds. Torque the half inch bolt to 75 foot-pounds. Torque the 3 8 bolts to 24 foot-pounds. With the conversion bracket installed, it's now time to install the Synergy track bar. Install the factory bolt and nut tab loosely for now. 
Depending on your lift height, it may be much easier to install the track bar on the frame side with the vehicle on the ground. At this point, reinstall the driver's side wheel. Lower the vehicle back to the ground and torque the wheel to back the respect. With the vehicle on the ground, install the Synergy track bar into the Synergy conversion bracket. Depending on lift height, you may need to extend or shorten the new track bar. Do so by turning the double adjuster nut. Once the hole in the bushing and the bracket line up, install the bolt and washer. On the axle side of the track bar, there were two different size bolts that were used for these vehicles, a 14mm and a 16mm. If you have a 14mm bolt, torque it to 200 foot-pounds. If you have a 16mm bolt, torque it to 221 foot-pounds. The same is true for the frame side. Depending on if you have a 14mm or 16mm bolt, torque the frame side to either 200 foot-pounds or 221 foot-pounds. With the weight of the vehicle on the ground, you can now center the axle. Use a straight edge and a tape measure to measure from the wheel outside to the fender. Do this on both sides. If you find there is a difference between the two measurements, turn the double adjuster in or out until the two measurements are equal to each other. With the axle centered, tighten the double adjuster bolt to 90 foot-pounds. Installation is now complete. For more information on this product or other products, visit us at SynergyMFG.com.